An ancient mystic once said, he who splits a seed and finds nothing is failing to experience the spirit at the heart of everything. Brainchild, Episode 7 Parallel Lives Emerging Thought Transference Lock 7968721 Planet Earth to System A Expeditionary Agent 019MHTX Proper channels never meet in parallel lines. Parallel lines can only lead to different places. Different places can never be the same. What is this telling humans about the geometry of their lives? Did you know the couple upstairs, Mr... Tepkis. They live upstairs. Don't you share the same entrance? Yes, but not at the same time. You did hear the shot. I hear noises all the time. You hear a lot of gunshots? Who knows what they are. What do you do, Mr. Tepkis? What's your occupation? I'm, uh, an artist. A uh, painter? You have a studio? Well, this is my studio. Because I don't see any painting. I also teach. You're a teacher? Where do you teach? Wherever there are people willing to learn. You're unemployed at the moment? Uh, sometimes people must be taught things they don't want to learn. Oh, I'll vouch for that. Uh, Chase, uh, do you have a photograph of the girl? The dead girl? Do you know this girl, Mr. Tepkis? Is this the girl who was shot? It was the man who was shot. Oh, um, I don't know her. Does she have something to do with what happened upstairs? Not as far as we know. It's just routine. We figured somebody in this city must know who she is. Is she dead? Let's just say she's not around to identify herself anymore. Somebody taught her something I'm not sure she wanted to learn just yet. Chase. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for your trouble, Mr. Tepkis. Of course, you'll be pleased to know that the man upstairs wasn't hurt too badly. Oh, that's good. And he refuses to press charges. Love is a remarkable thing. Wouldn't you say so, Sergeant Chase? I'm afraid I wouldn't know. I've never felt remarkable. I guess I just haven't met the right killer yet. Was that supposed to be funny? Love is as strange as fiction to me, boss. Did you notice there were no chairs in his apartment? And no paintings. I guess he must sit on that big cushion. Yeah, while he's not painting? If I had a nickel for every weirdo in this city. <laughs> the city would be bankrupt. Do you think he was lying? About what? About being a teacher. Why would anyone lie about being a teacher? To make us think he's smarter than he really is. <laughs> Dolphy? Is this Eric Dolphy? Uh, are, are, are you Eric Dolphy? Is your name Eric Dolphy? Can you hear me, Eric Dolphy? I can see you. Oh, that's not what I asked. I can hear you. Let's talk about something else. Uh, how are your bowel movements? My bowel movements? Are you frequently consecrated? Would you like to shut down now? I don't need to shut down. So why aren't you in there enjoying yourself? Where? Everywhere. You think the world has shrunk since you were disseminated? Have you augmented too expansive for your mouse? I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? To me or to the world? You ask too many questions. Try, try making some statements for a while. Like what? I like everything. Now, that's a statement. Even if I don't mean it? Well, see, that's another question. This is so dumb and stupid! <laughs> How 
dare you call me dumb and stupid? How dare you? Who did that skip? Did uh, that throw you for a loop? You can eliminate yourself now. <clears throat> Leave me alone. I, I would like to be alone. I'm a busy sicko and you're interfering with my therapy. I thought this was your work. What is me? People like me. Ah, now that was a statement. Of course, it wasn't really a sentence. Not the way you were using it. There, there was no verb. It, it wasn't an action. More of a linguistic gesture or a primitive cry for tribal unity. Have you ever entered into super cyberspace? I was raised in super cyberspace. I've never exited my module. But have you ever let your modem lapse? Oh, it's no wonder you're confused. You're unplugged. Isn't it obvious? Has uh, something changed? There is a strong possibility your program has been terminated. You must download immediately. Now you realize why we have to go? There's no way through proper channels. We have to manifest. We have to restore Angel's heart. The barbarian and the old woman can't do it alone. But we made all that up. They're not real. Tell that to the girl who just had her heart ripped out. How long have you been at the palace, Gutter Snipe? No more of this gibberish. I need some answers. Now! Ow! Oh, Jesus, that hurt! Oh. Hey, go back to the tickling lady, huh? Speak English, Kerr. Mm. You think Swahili woman? Oh, this witch don't seem to understand the word both saying. How come I don't know the right lines anymore? I must be missing some pages from the script. Hello? Hey, where'd she go? How did I get all chained up like this? Oh, I need to see my agent, man. If this is the same movie, it, if this is the same dream, and I didn't sign up for another... Ah, oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing, girl? I got a wife and six kids in my other dream. Hey, besides, I'm not insured! <laughs> Torture means many things to many people. To some, it means being without. To others, it means being with. To others, it means both. To me, it means not knowing if I am being tortured or not. This has been a Three Bridges audio experience. Brainchild, Episode 7. Written by Steve Bellwood. Directed by Gregor Barnum. Executive Producer, Teresa Langston. Audio Engineer, Joe Mango. Featuring the voices of Craig Gilbert, Teresa Langston, Joe Mango, Josiah Rowe, Susan Sachs, and Michael Sayers. Soundings by Randy Parker. Produced at the Yale Broadcasting Studios in New Haven, Connecticut. Join us next time as the young dancer Angela wanders off willingly into the arms of an alienated fate. Find out what happened to the barbarian Flarek the Mede and what Bo sees in the gallstones. As the brainchild once again attempts to create a world we can all be at pieces in. Together. Do-do-do.